Hello folks, welcome back to the studio. Today we are going to take the tabletop that we put our V-stabilizer bars into and we're going to be doing some really cool uh, pedestals on that. We're gonna unbox these for you, put them together and then put them on the table. Uh, it's gonna be fun and these are awesome. I love these. Okay, so here we have our boxes. I'm gonna tell you part numbers. This is the bench set. Okay, so there's two in here. Uh, part three, seven, eight, eight, six, four, rubber wood. And this is for the table, and this is actually just one. And it is part three, seven, eight, eight, seven, two. Okay, now, let me just say a, a word about rubber wood. Rubber wood is considered like a, a paint grade. Uh, but I have seen some beautiful pieces that are stained rubber wood. Uh, it actually looks really good, I think. Um, so don't count it as, oh, I can only paint rubber wood. Um, there, are some, there are some really nice pieces that are stained. Okay, let's start with our bench pedestals. And this is just like you would receive it at home. That's our center pedestal piece. And then a top and a bottom. So that's our foot, okay. Instructions, hardware bag. Okay, so as you saw, um, everything was packed really nicely in that box. Uh, Actually, everything was shrink wrapped uh, also. So we've got everything taken apart here. And as I follow my instructions, start running all these bolts down in there. Done with our bench. And um, now we're gonna do our big pedestals. And um, you know, as you saw with these, this is a, a really nice set. Um, it's got all the, the hardware and the tools and everything that you need. And uh, actually went, went really easily. All right, so there's our hardware bag. Now remember, this is a set of two. This is just one, okay? Um, partly because this is so massive, you probably wouldn't want to lift a box with two of these in it, <laughs> okay? Um, and the other thing is, uh, you could use these in uh, in different situations. You might just use one, or you know, uh, even have a a huge table with three. Rubber wood is not a a really soft, light wood. It's uh, it's pretty dense. It's pretty hard, and um, it's got some some good substance to it. So. Yeah, you're talking about a, a lot of wood with these things. As you can see, this actually has a dowel, okay, to help get that aligned and give it just a little bit more strength there. Okay, so we are ready to get these things put onto our tabletop. And let me talk to you about um, different ways that we could put these onto a top. So you could literally pre-drill from the top and set screws straight down into this and then plug those uh, pre-drills. It worked for you. You could do a, a varying grain or even a different wood type or that kind of thing on your plugs, but that's an option. Uh, we are going to use something like this. You could call this probably a lot of different things. Uh, a subtop, a, a cleat, a, uh, a mounting block. Uh, so the idea would be uh, we would pre-drill and screw down into the top of our pedestal and then pre-drill here and screw up into the tabletop. If that makes sense. Part of all of this conversation has to be the height that you want your tabletop, okay? Uh, if you've got a two inch thick tabletop that you're working with, 
by the time you do this and the height of your, you know, all of that is going to maybe get you higher than you want to be, okay? Believe it or not, one inch plus or minus can make a big difference in the way a table feels when you're sitting at it, okay? Typical is about 30 inch table height, okay? That's about normal. And by the time we do this, we're gonna be at 30 and one quarter. So um, that's part of why we're doing this. I made these, just glued up some maple. Um, wanted it to look nice partly because it's going to come so close to the outside edge there. I want this to be a, an edge that, you know, if somebody sees it, they're not gonna be like, oh, what, what did they do there? You could just use a plywood in this. Be really quick and easy. Um, and if you're painting and all of that stuff, nobody would ever even notice probably. So let's go ahead and do these. What I'm using is a, uh, a two-stage bit. Uh, it's got a little bit of extra width in the, the shaft and the, the head there. And the reason I'm doing this bit is um, once I pre-drill, and I'm gonna use this for my holes coming this direction also. And um, I'll get the, the screw in there and I'll snug it down, but um, this will give just a tiny bit of wiggle room for that screw so that if things, you know, give and, and take a little bit, um, it's not gonna be a problem in the future. I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna pre-drill my holes here that will actually go into the tabletop, okay? So I'm gonna pre-drill these next and uh, I can only use a, a probably inch and a quarter screw on that because of the thickness of my top and the, and the uh, subtop here. So let's go ahead and lay those out. Okay, so this is a pan head and uh, I'm going with a little bit longer, uh, I would say at least inch and three quarter, but um, whatever you feel comfortable with. I have not figured exactly where I want these, so let's get them up there and kind of step back and look at it and get our, uh, our distance figured out here. So I've decided on about nine inches, I think, just from <laughs> standing back and looking at this thing. Okay, that's our table. We are ready to move this thing out of the way and put our bench together. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing with the bench, so. So there you have it, uh, bench and table, and um, I, I feel like they turned out really great. Uh, Jonah's gonna finish these in the next video, so stay tuned with, for that. So I hope you enjoyed it. The links for the pedestals are gonna be down below. The V stabilizer, if you missed that video, you can go back and check that out. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends if you would, and uh, we'll see you next time on Builder Studio. Yeah!